What's good, y'all? It's Coffee tapping in with another one, guys. How y'all doing out there? Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate the support. Wanted to get this video out to you guys yesterday. A few topics to jump off into. So let's get it. You heard this yesterday's news, but we still got to get it. So first up, man, just a, a little poll, I guess we could call it. Just curious to know what everyone thinks. You see these 10 Buffalo Bills hats. That's my squad. What up? fellow Bills Mafia, fellow football fans, but which hat do you think is the dopest? Throw the number up. You see the number in the top right corner next to all the hats. I got to go with the first one with the like blue bandana print on it. I mean, I don't know. For those who are out there on the West Coast, I know it's crazy. You guys already have to be careful what hats you're wearing and what neighborhoods. Like that's That's wild to me. I remember catching a whole series Milk 7-4 did about like what hats and uh, you know, like sports team clothing to not wear in certain neighborhoods. I don't think I've ever seen the Bills, you know, being rocked by any gang or any neighborhood or anything. But you see, it, it has like the blue bandana print. But I think that it's just fly as fuck. Y'all let me know which one you guys like the most. Um, or if, if you're not a Bills fan, like if my team is your rival, you could leave that in the comments as well. Because I know if someone was like, yo... Uh, drop a comment w which Patriots hat you think is the best. I'd be like, yo, get the fuck out of here. They all are whack. <laughs> but moving along to the next topics and speaking of hats, you guys see this hat here. Uh, one of the bros was rocking this and I seen it said free cane. And I heard of this story, but it wasn't something that I really looked into. And this is fucked up, guys. Like real talk, Cain Velasquez needs to be freed okay uh comment if you think he has any chance of beating the case like i always share with you guys right jay coffee talks to square or i'm a nerd uh they're like we do need rules and societies but when it comes to some ish like this all the rules need to go the fuck out of the window all these wicked demons need to be put in the dirt they should be putting a damn metal on cain velasquez and in in instead He's sitting in jail with no bail. And to make matters even worse, what's so agitating and just ridiculous to hear is they freed this wicked demon, you know, who who just committed, committed these terrible, wicked demon like crimes. Um, and I say crimes because from what we're hearing, the, the statement of the victim is told police. It sounds like this sack of ish had been doing this and these people had a daycare. Like, I hope that daycare is shut down. I don't even like talking about this, but for real, for real, man, like the Cain Velasquez needs to walk. But oh, that's what I was going to say. They got this wicked demon out on like home. What are they calling it? Home confinement or I don't know what you want to call it, but he's home. He's free. And Cain Velasquez can't even get a bail. Because they say he's a danger to society that if we let him go, there's it's likely that some some violence is going to happen. Can you all believe that on top of the fact of, of this just whole flucked, disgusting situation? They got him in there. Um, you know, what I'm saying no bail and say that this wicked piece of ish. He's a danger, but the wicked piece of ish isn't. I just I can't stand it, man. Like real talk, we've. We've covered these kinds of topics on the channel before. Um, it, it's disgusting ish. And uh, we know that so many people, whether it be ourselves or our friends or our family members, have been violated in some kind of way by these wicked demons. And you hear something like this and it's just so heartbreaking. I swear, like, why can't someone between the prosecutors and the authorities or, 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 or someone, why can't they like make a mistake with it with the paperwork forget to cross a t or dot an i or lose some evidence or something so you know king can get off on a uh technicality right wouldn't that be wouldn't that be justice wouldn't that be righteous for real for real i seen joe rogan i know every a lot of people are still mad at joe rogan but joe rogan commented and basically said, man, I wish he would have just did it with his hands, like rather than, yo, that's crazy, too. Can we talk about that? He hit him. Uh, I'm not I'm not a, a guy that knows a lot about weapons and guns. I share that with y'all often. But he was busting at him with a 40 cal. And uh, from what I know or what I've heard, those bullets are serious and cause crucial damage. Uh, but apparently this uh, sack of garbage is still alive. So. 
I don't know, man. The world is a flawed place. You know what I'm saying? Like, life can be great. We're all put here and we want to pursue the best life we can or whatever. But you just got these wicked demons out here bringing hell and hellacious evil things to earth. And it's it's just a damn shame. And then there was another UFC guy. Forgive me, y'all. Um, like I said, I'm just kind of rushing this video to you guys to get it out ASAP. Where he said, uh, comment for those who, who are familiar with who said this. He said, man, I don't want to live in a world where you can't go out and body the mother. Look, I'm paraphrasing. This isn't exactly what he said. But uh, he don't want to live in a world where you can't go out and off an evil sack of garbage who did something like this. You know, forgive me, y'all. I'm rambling on a little bit. I'm going to move on to the next topic. But let's get this discussion going. Share all your thoughts on the whole uh, situation. Um, do you think there is any chance he's going to beat the case? You're talking about he's looking at 20 to life right now. Um, he needs a bail. First off, that's what we need. What needs to happen right off the rip. He needs a bail. Innocent till proven guilty. The attorney should easily be able to ground uh, argue the on the grounds like like I said like your your honor you're going to say that this man is a danger, but this piece of ish isn't come on and i also see that uh the 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 press is mentioning his cte you know there, there's a lot of articles out there talking about how there's a lot of mma fighters who've committed violent crimes and they speak of cte and you know they're like could, could that have played a factor in it do you guys think there's any chance that they could argue for like an, an insanity defense based on cte or something or hell y'all probably seen that movie a time to kill right yes they deserve to die and i hope they burn in hell uh, from my understanding, that's a true story. That attorney was able to get that man off, um, you know, based on insanity. They violated his baby girl. So he went out there and offed them right in the courthouse while they were walking. Like, I'm dead ass. I'm tearing up a little bit saying this. He bodied them demons right in the courthouse. Like, and they got what they deserved. You know what I mean? They got what they had coming to them right away. Instantaneous justice. I don't know if y'all remember, there's a scene in that movie where uh, when he bodied them pieces of ish, uh, there was a like a, a bailiff or whatever, a, a officer who worked in the courthouse and he lost his leg. He caught a, a bullet <clears throat> that ricocheted. He ended up having to lose his leg and he took the stand at court and said, yo, I, I hold no ill will towards this man. I would have did the same thing. Set this man free. All right, let's keep it moving and get off that topic, man. Um, get on to some, some hip-hop news here. We're talking about Jay-Z. Uh, it hit the news yesterday. I did a video on it, how this new track that he's on, Neck wrist, neck and Wrist with Pusha T. Again, comment if you fuck with that track. Uh, you know, everyone was taking notice that he was responding to Phase on Love with some slick bars. Y'all know the way Hove plays with those words and everything like that. Remember, he used to do it to Game a couple times. And a game went on that big campaign because he put out that I ain't talking about mine talking about game. And he had another freestyle where he kept saying game. He wouldn't even like truly dignify game like Hove is big on that. I mentioned in your name, you know, he ain't truly going to give you that satisfaction. But we saw those bars. We can all agree, I believe, were aimed at phase on love. Well, these uh, rhymes here, everyone's saying, yo, is this a Birdman diss? Uh, Hove's engineer, young guru, was responding on Twitter as everyone's talking about this. It's talking about, what did he say? I blew bird money. Y'all talking Twitter feeds. So, um, you know, like I said, Jay likes to play around with the words. It kind of sounds like it, like bird money, bird man money. Uh, but guru's talking about, we not talking about this line enough. I blew bird money. Y'all talking Twitter feeds. It's like five meanings here. And then he went on to say, I'm sorry, but as many meanings as you can pull from this, by no means is this a Birdman diss. And like someone was commenting, saying, like trying to make sense of the bars where they said, Bluebird, Twitter, Bluebird, Bird, like Blue Birdman money, like my money's bigger. Uh, Bluebird, dope money. This uh, ties in, it in, y'all talk on Twitter feeds, tough. So, um, I, I don't know. It kind of seems like it's a Birdman diss, but what I, and I've heard other channels and stuff debating and talking about this, but what I've heard no one talking about is when this happened back on Watch the Throne. Y'all remember that on Ham, where he, where he said, uh, keep it real with dude, something like, you got baby money. You ain't even got my lady money. And, you know, it seemed to be aimed at baby, Birdman. And with it, 
what shocked me, do you guys remember, it started a little beef between him and Lil Wayne. I was surprised to see Wayne go at him because we knew Wayne was always bigging up Jay-Z with the I'm this greatest rapper alive since the greatest rapper retired. You know what I mean? But uh, he that one track with Jada and Drake, banger. Banger. What was that? The Carter Three. Y'all remember that though? He, he he told Jay, "I think you're hello or pussy cat, hello kitty, <laughs> or whatever." Uh, he said that I kidnap yo to get that. How much you love your lady money? Because he said you ain't dudes ain't even got my lady money. He said shit. We'll kid we'll kidnap be and see you know get that. How much you love your lady money? You want to talk about uh, your money compared to to baby's money, the bird man, but. Um, you know, I, I don't know that Jay ever uh, really responded to Wayne. I'm sure that he did. Um, yo, you guys remember, too, when he did the uh, Billy to Wayne's Amelie? That joint was tough, too. Uh, interesting, you know, when it comes to Jay and Wayne over the years. And then after uh, Wayne had his situation beefing with Birdman, we saw uh, Wayne come out on stage with Jay-Z. Everyone's like, yo, Wayne's going to Rock Nation. But I don't know. Here we are nowadays. Uh, Wayne, Birdman, iron out their differences, that financial situations. Can y'all hear the birds chirping in the background while we're talking about Birdman and bird money and all that? Um, and here we are now trying to figure out these bars. Comment. Let me know what y'all think. Moving along, I just uh, caught this No Jumper interview yesterday. I don't know if you guys caught it. Uh, for those big Chicago Drill fans, tap in and comment, guys. Um, coffee flux with the drill but i'm not like super well in versed versed in the history of drill and all that as we know it's a it's a subculture that goes deep and as wild as fluck to be quite honest with y'all like this younger generation with the drill ish you know what i'm saying gang banging on each other uh the record labels is turning into clicks and you know what i'm saying cats are dissing each other on twitter and then clapping each other in the streets it's it's wild y'all but um you know we all know r.i.p fbg duck his name um he's got his shine a lot his name was mentioned a lot in the blogs and in the net the blogosphere and all that but uh, another fbg dude fbg cash or fbg cash out did an interview on no jumper that i caught yesterday and guys i was surprised to hear something that this dude mentioned you want to talk about some cold-blooded ish he was talking about back in the day, which I looked it up and it was in 2012. I didn't even listen to it because it sounds like some next level greasiness. You know what I'm saying? It kind of reminded me a little bit. Y'all remember when Spider Loke had the games mom on uh, on the phone? He uh, This dude had Chief Keith's mom on the phone. I guess he used to smash her and he called her up. I, guys, I swear to y'all, I didn't listen to the conversation comment. Was it pretty bad? Was it pretty greasy? Man, that Chicago drill is just be straight grimy, y'all. It ain't for the, the soft uh, at heart at all. And then last up on the rundown here, man, <clears throat> uh, you know, Monica uh, getting back with C murder or whatever that reunion. She's been visiting him in prison, which is cool. Raising his spirits. I was unaware that they were a couple back in the day. You know what I'm saying? When Monica was talking about the boy is mine. She was she was talking about a cold gangster. Well, no, nah, I don't want to say that because C Murder don't want that gangster image at all. We just know C Murder didn't fuck around. But um, this case here has been crazy. You know, he, he's come home. We know about all the appeals. It was hitting the news last year uh, when Trump gave out those pardons to um, Harry O, Wayne, Kodak. Boosie was like, yo, what about C Murder? But Obviously, you know, this is on a state level. Trump was only able to give out federal pardons. So, uh, you know, see murder. They got Kim K on the case. She's done a lot of good bringing people home. But to be honest with y'all, I'm not trying to be negative at all. I want to see see murder free. There is a lot of shaky stuff about this case. Um, and as we know now, you know, back in Louis the day in Louisiana, you didn't need the unanimous guilty verdict that you now do need um but I, I don't know man it don't seem like they ever gonna let see murder home fit for real for real comment let me know what you guys think but um also like mac phipps okay his case was super buns like there was so much shaky bs with that case and we knew mac was gonna come home he had to sit a long ass time but louisiana what i'm trying to get at is they move super slow they're in no hurry 
to try to let the innocent come home or if they're going to knock time off a sentence or anything, it takes forever in a day because Mac Phipps case was deaded. You know what I mean? And they even said, yo, we're going to give him a pardon or commute his sentence or whatever the official uh, whatever they officially did with his case. And that ish took a year. Clemency. That's what it was. The governor granted him clemency. It still took him a year to come home. So in a case like this with C murder where they don't seem be seeming to be budging at all, this, I don't know, man. Like, I'm not trying to be negative. I'm just trying to keep it a buck. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. But thanks for tuning in again. I'm sorry, guys. I know this was like yesterday's ish, but I, I, I really wanted to ch chop it up with y'all on these topics. So that'd do it. Coffee's up out here. Uh, let's talk in the comments. Um, and I, for real, for real, guys, thank you for supporting the channel. I truly love y'all for that. Keep supporting. Keep joining the discussion. Stay tuned for the lives. I'm about here, y'all. Peace.